Hey everyone, Lux Lover here. My name's Dan and I post videos on luxury goods. To me, luxury can mean lots of things. I have, hold on, it's on my table, okay. I got a cup of coffee today, no booze. That's later, probably when I'm editing this video. This is the Morning Joe blend from Starbucks and you can only find that in grocery stores. So if you don't see it at Starbucks, it's not you. It's not the store, they just don't, the, the Starbucks's don't carry them. This is gonna be a collective haul on Coach. I buy stuff spaced out. I don't really like, you know, huge like purchase. Um, that's just not how I roll. Um, so I this has been accumulated over the past couple of months. So um, I'm really excited. Uh, let's get into it. It's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. And a couple of these things I've had for a while, so I feel like I can not only show you what I got, but like speak on how it's holding up. So let's just get right into it. Also, if you're new here and if you comment on videos, like really appreciate that, it means a lot. You don't have to, no pressure. I'm just saying, if you want, you can subscribe. Anyways, let's, let's just dive right in. Um, I'm gonna go, let's start with the smaller things first. Um, I bought this on eBay. It just came yesterday. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before on previous videos, but ever since I was a kid, I've loved like small things, specifically like little plastic things. Um, so designer bag charms really get me, you know. I, I particularly love the resin ones. Um, and little spoiler alert, that's everything I'm going to show you um, in terms of bag charms, but... This, this was an outlet piece, I know, because, not because, you know, it had the tag or the person that had the listing, you know, it has the F in the, what is it, style number, um, but you can tell from the hardware, um, yeah, I'll show you later, but, <laughs> um, you can tell from the hardware because usually Coach, when they, the Coach retail, they will have brass. This is imitation gold, or I am gold. That's what they have on their website. Um, I think this is like an older piece, but um, I just had to buy it. You know, <laughs> I I sat I sat on it. You know trying to be more mindful about my purchases and I'm glad I got it. I haven't used it yet, but I, I literally just got it yesterday, I think. Um, and I like that you can see the clear, do you see that? Like the clear edges, oh, so good. I love it, so cute. Okay, another bag charm. Um, and you've seen this, I've showed this before. It was on my Dior Trotter bag and my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Troville. Man, all of these things are mouthfuls to say. This one's particularly amazing because you can see the gold C's inside. And I just love that on top of it being resin, it's glitter resin. And this cutie has <laughs> uh, crystal eyes. So that's even freaking better. Um, and all of these have a key loop, but I take those off of my bag charms just because I don't use them and you know, taking away the unnecessary clanging around. Um, and then last bag charm I have, um, it is the other bear in the other color. This is on the website, it looks purple, but it's really blue. Um, with antique nickel, I believe that's what it is. <sighs> Just so pretty, I can't get over it. I love them so much. I love the coach uh, bear charms. Um, so now we're gonna get into SLGs. This one I, I love so much. We all know what print this looks like, so I'm not even gonna mention it. <laughs> and that's kind of why I got it, but also because I love the color combination. I felt like, you know, it's a little more on the masculine side, which is stuff that I don't normally gravitate to, but I mean, that's kind of just like my look today. Um, so yeah, I just, I love it so much. It has coach, you know, going through the print, which is amazing. And then you open her up. 
Um, this is kind of how I prefer to store it, but I guess it's easier to do it the correct way. Um, I have, I've changed this. She's rolling. She's rolling and I'm hating. Okay, sorry. Um, so it goes in the ID, removable ID, which is what I'm using it as. It slips in like that, like that, there you go. And then you close it. That makes me nervous because, you know, the glazing can, oh, I have more change waiting to fall out. I'm nervous to do that because the glazing can crack because of all of that weight. Um, if you can see, very hard to tell, but you see a little white dot right there. That's crackage, I guess, in the glazing. Um, so it's probably easier to just, you know, you have it open and you place it here and then close it. And then it's not, you know, giving too much girth to the sides. But, you know, I bought it to enjoy it. So I'm not gonna fret too much, but that I really love. Um, and you know, I don't wanna look at more wallets and SLGs because I'm trying to enjoy what I have, you know? So I think that's really something we all gotta consider. You know, I, I see videos of people buying multiple bags at once and like, I'm not judging, but like, I'm like, how do you, how do you have the time to enjoy one, what you already have and then two, the bag that you just got, and on top of that, there's like three more bags, but <laughs> I guess that's just me, I don't know. Next, I got this beautiful wristlet, double, what is it, double zip wristlet, with the, this is from the outlet, by the way. Um, most of this is from the outlet, actually, and I feel like the outlet quality is great. Um, I feel like, I don't know how to say this without sounding, I feel like it can look kind of cheap. I don't, I, I feel weird saying that, but like, I don't know. But that's what I like about it. You know what I mean? I don't know, whatever, maybe I'll edit that out. But this has the brown print on the back. You know what, let me take that back. You know, that the quality is fantastic. Um, I'm really into it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent my money on it. Anyways, there is a handbag that has this similar color scheme. It is the Tilly. Um, I really wanted that bag, but it wasn't, I'm, I'm very particular about what I want in a bag because I want to love it. I don't want to be like, man, there's, if there were one thing I could change about it, because if there's one thing I'm, I would change about it, why would I buy it? You know, I'm trying to be smart with my purchases because not only is it a financial purchase, it is a mental and physical energy purchase. You know what I mean? Purple, anyways, <laughs> sorry. Uh, purple hang tag, light, or turquoise wristlet, or handle, not removable, by the way. Uh, yellow zips. Beautiful, love it. Kind of small, doesn't hold that much, but hold enough. I, I don't really carry that much anyways. Um, I have a Dior lip balm and a Marc Jacobs lip balm. And I'm trying to be quick with this because I'm running out of space on my phone and a body shop um, hand cream that I got my husband that I stole. <laughs> that I stole from him. I purchased it. I did not steal it from the store. Just wanted to clear that up. Okay, thank you, bye. And then the other side, I just have some spare keys and nothing else. I pu I'll put my mask in the, the brown side, so. And there's a little gusset on the, the side to keep your stuff from falling out. So that's pretty neat. Okay, charms, SLGs. Did I show this? Oh, I don't think so, oh yeah. Okay. Now for the, I did buy a bag, but I feel like this is the coolest one. Um, bag strap with a little twist. Oh, what? This is the Coach Novelty Strap and Signature Canvas and Horse and Carriage print. I believe it's Truffle, that's the color, in brown. Um, or yeah, I guess that's the same thing. This was a UK exclusive. Um, I purchased it at Harrods and it said last one, but really I feel like Harrods just stocks one item of Coach and then calls it a day. Um, but I'm so glad I 
hopped on the website when I got it. The hardware feels substantial. Um, I do have another Coach novelty strap, but you know, I don't know, this one just felt like heavier in a good way. Um, it's probably the same thing really. It's adjustable as well, but I kept it on what it came with and just beautiful. I love it. Yeah, canvas on both sides. Um, I don't. I hope that holds up well. I'm kind of nervous about that, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think I could ever let this go because it's such a hard find. I remember seeing it on the UK website because someone pointed it out and I'm like, I want that and I can't have it. Um, but I was able to get it and I love it. Okay, sorry if I shifted. Um, <laughs> had to clear up some space on my phone. Speaking of clearing up, I would like to, you know, kind of elaborate on what I was saying. I feel bad about saying like the coach outlet, like not that it can look cheap, but you know, there's, there's a difference in a specific appearance of a certain type of material. I'll get into that when I show you my next thing. Um, but like when you explain the difference in price to, in relation to the outlet from retail, it's because, you know, of the materials used. So maybe that's why stuff can look different, but I would just like to clear up that, you know, the coach outlet stuff holds up beautifully. And I think the things are gorgeous. Like the outlet signature had to grow on me, to be honest, but you know, I'm happy with, where did the strap go? I was looking for, I was like, where did I put this? I put it behind me. Anyways, um, this had to grow on me, you know, but I love it. Um, and, you know, one specific outlet item has held up better than a retail. Um, I would say I take care of my stuff relatively well, but like, you know, I don't baby stuff. Um, and I've been using these two things for like the same kind of function. This is from the outlet. It was a gift that wasn't for me, but I ended up taking it. And this is from the retail. Now, as you can see with the coach, uh, retail and outlet, you know, there's differences in the canvas and it took me the longest time to figure it out. I'll go into detail next. Um, this, the retail, the C's have the coach within. Um, it, within the C's, it's kind of like spread out, um, but yeah. And uh, this, and sometimes the C, the signature is proportionate to the size, whereas this is kind of always like the same size C on everything. I feel like they look kind of different, or I guess they're kind of the same size almost, but look at that glazing. It is crap. I've used it. It's great, you know, but like, I love this, which is why I've used it so much, but I would put key or cards here whenever I had to go to work just like really quickly. Um, and like two of these fell out, like not a good look. Um, two of the little things to hold your keys fell out. And yeah, the glazing hasn't held up, but this is like a key case, but it's mostly like a card holder ID thing. I just have my keys in here and like I, I do a lot of, you know, like folding to put my keys in there, zip it up and and like I I always look at the glazing here and it's it's like still perfect. And this is like years old. So, I've been using it consistently. So, I just wanted to clear that up. Um anyways, let's get into the sorry, this was not <laughs> Let's get into the main thing. Here we go. I got the Shea crossbody and signature canvas. I'm pretty particular when it comes to bags because I want it to either be all canvas or all leather. I'm not really a leather handbag kind of person, but you know, I do want a coach leather bag. There's one I'm looking at. So I'm, you know, I'm giving more time to think about it because I want to be a hundred percent sure, but the, it comes with an additional strap that I have right here. Um, I haven't done anything with it. It was just like that on the bag, but I took it off. It has a not removable top handle, um, little leather strip on the zipper, and then it has four feet with a leather bottom. Um, 
the person working at Macy's, or, you know, there wasn't anyone working in the handbag department, and I just didn't really feel like asking for another. You know, there are kind of, like, little flaws on it, but, you know, it's it was never on the Coach website, at least in the U.S. It was on Dillard's, went on sale, went back to full price, disappeared. So, I was like, you know what, let me just take it. <laughs> um, and I couldn't be happier with it. I haven't used it yet, but I know I'm gonna love it because I have my Longchamp crossbody that I've been using. Um, and, you know, this feels like a sturdier, you know, more supported, structured, you know, bag to carry. And I have my little Rexy on here. So you can see what I mean that the gold, this is from the outlet. You can see the hardware difference. It's not lighting, it's it's the hardware difference. That's brass, this is gold. Um, and here's also what I mean about the canvas in outlet and uh, retail, or in this case, retail outlet. Um, like I said, you can see the, it says coach in some of the C's spread out throughout the canvas. And it's kind of like Goyard, how they have, I think it says Goyard or something in French uh, within the little triangles or prism print, but someone pointed this out in a coach Facebook group that I'm in. So I would, I was like, I can't put my finger on it. Like, what is the difference? I, I knew there was a difference in the signature prints, but I just couldn't tell. And someone said that the, well, one, as you can see, this has the coach in the C's, this one doesn't. Um, but also that the C's are light with a dark background, whereas the outlet has dark C's with a light background. And like just something about this, like, I don't know, it looks flat. Like, I don't, do you, do you get what I mean? I don't know how to describe it. Looks flat. Like, look at this. Bam. 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 Whereas I feel like with the Coach Retail signature, signature print, it kind of has like more dimension to it, but I'm so excited to use that. And I got my Rexy, of course, like I said, I love him so much. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. I don't think, I know the wristlet is still on the website. The bears are, I don't know about the wallet. Um, and the Shea, I've seen it on selfridges.com. So you can try that. And then, you know, some other websites, um, obscure, like not obscure, but like, you know, not based in the U S so it's kind of hard to find it. It's not going to come up with a Google search when you look up this bag, like it'll, you'll have to go to images and then see what Google says, like in stock. Yeah, I had to do a bunch of stuff, but lucky that that was still at my Macy's. It was there forever. No one wanted it. I know I've been wanting it this whole time, but I just didn't get it until now. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I hope I wasn't too all over the place. Um, if you like this setup, you know, we can keep doing this. Um, natural light was my friend today, so... I still, as always, famously have a haphazard way of a setup, so, um, but anyways, I'm, I'm a professional YouTuber. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you want more, you know, hit the bell, I guess. I don't do that, I'm just saying, so don't feel pressured. Um, yeah, I love Coach Man, I can't get enough of it. I'm always looking at stuff. Uh, so, you know, you'd be here too if you, if you love Coach. But anyways, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys again next time, bye. Also, how could I forget to mention the strap with the bag? I mean, come on. Let's let's put this bad boy together. Um, oh my gosh. How could I do that? Silliness. Silliness was involved today. Here we go. So comfortable. Do you see that? Bam. Boom. Other shoulder, handle comes off to the side nicely. Cross body, 5'3", 114 pounds, weight's gone up. We're not gonna talk about it. Yes, this shirt is from ASOS, by the way, and I have these awesome embroidered Levi's jeans. So cute, dig it. Awesome, and you can, you know, oh my God.
See, this is the reality of like owning a handbag that people don't show you. I'm trying to flip the strap. There we go. You can change the look. Bam, boom, awesome. Bada bing, bada boom, done. All right, thanks for watching. Peace out, homies.